Welcome back. This is Mark with HowToWindows and HowToAlloc.com. This tutorial will show you how you can mount ISO files just by double clicking them, plus a bonus of removing the arrow icon on shortcuts. What we're going to download is a program called Virtual Clone Drive. This is a free program, and as you guys will be able to see in a second, it's also free of malware. Download the program with the link in the description. Install it with My Settings or use your own. I am now going to let the program know which files I want it to associate with. You may get this pop-up. If you do, just press install. Now for setting this up, you'll have the choice to make 15 extra drives. I had the most ever needed was 4. And it may slow down your computer if you have more drives being run. I like to put it at 2. Sometimes installations require 2 CDs or sometimes you may want to view 2 discs at once. Whatever it may be, I like 2. Then press OK when you have chosen the amount of drives. As you can see here, once the amount has been chosen, my computer now thinks I have 4 CD-ROMs. These two on the left are the fake ones. I know this because I don't have a Blu-ray drive which is what BD is. Now just double click the ISOs or bins or whatever other file you have and it will instantly load it in. Okay, now this next program does way more than just removing the little arrow. In fact, it would take too much time to explain every single thing it does. So we will only focus on the arrow. Copy and paste the link from the description labeled Ultimate Windows Tweaker and scroll down to about three quarters of the page. That is the only real download link. Every other link on the page is either malware or spyware, do not click on them. And just so you understand which one it is, it is this blue square one. When prompted, open this with WinRAR or any other zip program you use. Open the folder, then select the contents of the folder. Now create a new folder on the desktop and name it what you want. Then click and drag the files to the new folder. Now open that folder. Right click the program and select run as administrator. This is only necessary in 64 bit of windows from what I can gather. Now select additional tweaks. Now let's make a shortcut on the desktop so you can see what happens. Here is the arrow we wanted to remove. Now just click the box labeled remove arrows. Click apply, then click close, and then log off. Then when you are logged back in, you will not see that arrow anymore. Not on this icon and not on any icons. 